Okay, we're back for our last segment, and I am joined, i got to correct myself, it's Heidi Wright Tennyson, not Heidi Tennyson Wright. Heidi, good to see you. Good to see you, Dan. Known you, nice to have you uh, here, Heidi. Thanks, Chris. Known you as long as I've known anybody around here. Yes, sir. Heidi has been the head pro at uh, Moss Creek Golf Club since 1994. Yes. Is that correct? Essentially, yes. Yeah, wow. And um, the reason, the main reason we've got you here today is because uh, you closed that beautiful south course uh, May 7th and just reopened uh, September 29th, right? We did. Had a grand opening tournament on last Saturday for the membership. How did that go? Was it, was it well received? Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you got two great courses, the north and the south there, but I, I, I you know, that south uh, kind of speaks for itself when you get out on that back nine, you got all the great marsh views, but um, both courses are wonderful, very different. But I'm sure your membership was really glad to see that that come back open. No, it's it's been very exciting. Everybody's been anticipating. It's been a long shutdown, almost five months. We shut mm. down, like you said, on the seventh. Completely rebuilt the greens. Completely regressed the fairways and some other modifications. But it's truly wonderful. And when Heidi talks about redoing the greens, we were talking before we came on air, and she was saying when they rebuilt them, they rebuilt them. They yeah. went down 24 inches, filled in with all the right things that the USGA recommends for good drainage and good growth, and they're really ready to go. And she says the golf course is already in wonderful shape. So I'm going to sneak over there pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, definitely. Want to join me? Yeah, ab well, they're, they're two of my favorite. You know, I always liken them a little bit to Harbor Town. It's a lot of target golf, right. sm smallish greens. Uh, you got to be really precise uh, with your iron play. Love love the way they play. So you grass them with, I understand, Champion Bermuda. Champion Bermuda, yes. Okay, and the fairways? Celebration Bermuda. Celebration Bermuda. Mm -hmm. And that, as, as I understand, is a great grass for It is. I mean, the, the fairway, I played in the event on Saturday, too. And in, in ball, this looks like it sits up on a tee. Oh. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. What more could you ask for? you got yeah. Celebration in one spot and Champion in another spot. Wow. I think that's a good combo. Celebrate How can you champion. go wrong, right? Yeah. Um, and then I know you did some modifications to a couple of holes. The number green, number three green, you shifted 15 feet to the right. We did. It's a it's a long kidney um, bean shaped type green, and it really had some shade issues with an oak tree. We did not want to lose. So in order versus taking that down, we wanted to keep that. We just shifted the entire complex about 15 feet to the right. So bunker complex green shape, everything stayed the same. But it's now out of the shade issues, and the back side of the green is much more playable for the membership because if you missed that green before, because it is elevated, you could go out of bounds very, very easily. Well, I know that firsthand. Yes, uh, you. I, I gripe about this a lot on this show. That's got bad memories for I me. I know. That, I'm sorry that, about that's, that. That's the hole that I lost in the three-hole playoff to Jim Ferguson in 04. Yeah. And, uh, had that green been oh, 15 feet to the right, I would have won that dang thing. Yeah. You're post-dating yourself. Let's, let's <laughs> not go there. Yeah. Let's move on. Get over it. <laughs> Spin the laces. Live in the now. Spin the laces. <laughs> um, number seven. You did some things to number seven green. Yes, not number seven. Unfortunately, there was an oak tree there that was removed last fall because the, the shade issues were just too severe to really maintain the quality of turf that we want, like on that green, and a, a new bunker was placed there. It's in a great place. little par three, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Um, and then 16, what'd you do there? 16, uh, again, to save oak trees and whatever you can because they're beautiful specimens at Moss Creek, is that green was just modified and shifted a little bit. and Its shape changed slightly to allow us to keep an oak tree on the right. And uh, what are the, how are the members, uh, what are their comments or response about all of the very, well, you got some subtle changes, but you got right. some very specific changes. Everything that I've heard and from the feedback from the membership has been fantastic. Everybody had a great time on Saturday. Everybody's just really glad that it's open. They love the North Golf Course too, but I think they're tired of playing it every day. Well, you're doing 50,000 rounds a year at your right. facility, which is extremely yeah. busy considering, you know, in the summertime here, how many people are going out in the afternoon? Not you many know, in the afternoon, many. but we're still busy every day. Exactly. So, you know, that's a time of day where they're not getting play. So to do, let's say, 25,000 rounds on each course, that's, that's some traffic. Well, and, you know, I know all the times, I spent a lot of time over at Moss Creek through the years. I uh, have a lot of good friends who are members there. I've dined in your clubhouse many times. That is one of those, you know, when we speak of clubs, I used to be with Club Corps. Uh, part of the jargon was members speak with their feet, and the IQ of a club is the members who are using it. Every time you go in there, whether it's their golf courses, whether it's their you know, dining or events that they're having there at the club, 
always uh, highly participated. Mm -hmm. People are excited to be there. There's a great atmosphere there. You've got there great food, by the way. Thank you. So, you know, overall, it's not just a golf experience. It's a full club experience there. No, it really is a tremendous community and, and club, and it's not just a club, it is a community. One quick tidbit of information, we've got about 30 seconds, is most people probably don't know this. You were, Moss Creek opened in 73. Right. And in, from 76 to 85, you held the Women's uh, International there, which was a big LPGA event. Yes, we did. Um, you had champions like Nancy Lopez, mm -hmm. Jan Stevenson, every guy's favorite. She's like the Natalie Golbus of that era. Uh, Sally Little won it twice. Right. Hollis Stacy, uh, Sally Whitworth, is it? Kathy Whitworth. Kathy Whitworth, yeah. Sandra Palmer, Palmer, and Amy Alcott. Yes. Wow. Very cool. For those of you that didn't know, um, Moss Creek um, is, has been on the uh, professional map, too. Yeah. So, Absolutely. Uh, Heidi, we're out of time. Good to see you. Thank you, Daniel. Can't, and, and this girl can Chris, hit it. Thank too. you for being here, Heidi. She can hit it, too, by the way. So we need to go out. I've and, seen uh, her scores. I know she can. Get, I, I want her on my team against you and Keith. Okay. We'll set it up. Oh, we'll make that happen. But, yeah, let's, let's do it. That's okay. all the time we have this week. We had a great show. Uh, sorry about the U.S. team, but it was a victory for golf, and certainly having uh, people like you working in, in, uh, in our area, uh, representing us as pros, is always a feather in our cap. Um, that's all the time we have this week. Come back and see us next week on Golf Weekly.